I'll be showing what I think is the best way to present PowerPoint in a Microsoft Teams meeting. There are a few different ways to present PowerPoint in Teams, but this way gives you the most flexibility. So let's get started. I'm here in my Teams calendar and I'm going to join the meeting. We'll click join and hit join now. I'm in the meeting and I want to share my presentation. So in the upper right, I'll go to the share tray icon. And now normally what I might do is I might share my desktop. So a lot of times you might share your desktop when you're presenting and there are some challenges. So if I share my desktop here and I'll pull out my PowerPoint, let's say I start showing my PowerPoint. What happens is it takes up the entire screen and I can't see any of my presenter notes or the laser pointer. If I want to change away, I really can't because my whole desktop is showing. So if I wanted to go over here in OneNote and take some notes, can't do that because my whole desktop is joined. So that one doesn't work very well. Let's unshare here. I'll go to the upper right and click the share icon again. Another option is you could share the PowerPoint and upload it directly into the meeting, but still the challenges are the ability to use PowerPoint in the full presenter view way. You can't do that if you share the deck directly in. What we want to do is the middle option here. Yeah, you know, have desktop, you have Windows, and you have PowerPoint. The best way to do it is share the presentation window. So I'm going to choose my deck right here. Now I'm going to launch my slides. It'll be from beginning. Now here's the trick. I'm going to right click and just say show presenter view. Now PowerPoint is in the full presenter view so I can see everything. My notes, I can turn on captions and subtitles behind the scenes. I can use the laser pointer, all of those things. Now just to prove that this is different than what the attendees see, I'm going to flip to someone who's watching the presentation really quick just to show what it looks like on their side. Now this is Alex's view. He's looking in the browser and looks like the normal PowerPoint. So he can't tell anything that's happening behind the scenes. Let's go back to being the presenter again. Now I'm here as the presenter. I can see what the next slide is, this slide here. I can have all my options so I can use the laser pointer. I can see all my slides. So gosh, if I need to skip way ahead, I can go down here and click this slide. No one sees me doing that slide chooser behind the scenes. Really handy, all those great presenter view options. Now we'll go back to this slide. The other thing you can do is see your presenter notes. So maybe I'm a couple of slides in here and in this slide here, it turns out I have some presenter notes using the principles of inclusive design, etc. I can access those. Other nice thing is I can use the laser pointer or pen. So maybe I want to highlight some things here. Maybe I want to have the pen and I want to circle writing right here in the middle. All of that I can do behind the scenes. And if we switch back to the people who are watching the presentation, I'll go back again really quick. All they see is the highlighted slide where I put the ink around it. So all those benefits of presenter view right here behind the scenes in Teams. Switching back to presenter view, the other really cool thing, and as a big OneNote fan myself, I can now take notes. So if I want to switch into my OneNote, I'll hit Alt Tab and go right into OneNote really quick. Maybe I want to take a quick note because this is something important that someone was talking about. Maybe there's a conversation happening. I can flip to my OneNote here. I can take some notes and then I can flip back really quickly. One of the most inclusive PowerPoint features, I can turn on subtitles and captions behind the scenes. So right here is toggle subtitles. So I'll click this on and now as I'm talking, I can caption in whatever language I want, including English. In this case, you see me captioning in Spanish on the slides and those are coming through to all of the attendees so they can see all these things as well. And I can toggle those back off. There are a couple other options here. You can change your subtitle settings so you can actually change where they are, what languages, above the slide, below the slide, and all the other things that you get in presenter view. The last thing I'll show is a really nice little tip. I'm going to say show taskbar. When I click this, I can still see my entire taskbar. So if I don't want to alt tab between things, if I just want to click on OneNote, it's right there. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.